Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is the 28th of January, 2021, and it is 12.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What a ride the other markets have been doing, especially in regards to the equity markets and GameStop. Uh, some of that has translated into some wild activity here in our cryptocurrency markets as well. I'm taking a look at Cardano right now. Uh, we have traded up as much as, I believe it was a little over 11%, but I didn't even notice that it actually tr probably traded a little higher. Yeah, it tr it's traded up over 15% at one point of the day and uh, to tag that 0.36 zone. But cryptos all around, they, they look to be consolidating. I don't see a huge broad change in direction though. I think this is, this is very much just like a little bit of a, a bounce that we've got going across the board. And I, I mentioned that with the stock market too, like with the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the S&P 500. I think those are all um, a little bit of relief rallies. It could totally be wrong. I mean, this is a, this is a very, very uh, one-directional, omnidirectional equity market. Uh, but it looks very much like it's just a, uh, like a dead cat bounce from yesterday. Um, we'll see what the rest of the afternoon gives us, but I think that might apply also for our cryptocurrency markets. Um, structurally things still don't look that great for continued upside momentum. Uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin. I mean, we've got an inside bar on the daily chart. Let me put the Ichimoku cloud up here. I mean, we are trading below the Tenkensen and the Tenkensen is below the baseline. I mean, this, this all looks very much like we could see some continued downside pressure. Um, Ethereum, same story, inside bar. Uh, inside bars in cryptocurrencies are kind of notorious for generating some pretty wicked price action um, on the next bar. So uh, would that translate to higher prices? Possibly. I mean, we're pretty congested on the... RSI on the daily chart for Ethereum, and we're pretty pretty neutral here in the composite index as well. Um, but on the higher time frames, I mean, we do see things are moving south. The weekly is even though the the, the daily chart looks like it's could be supportive for some higher prices. When you look at the weekly, it looks bearish. It looks like we would see some lower prices. Uh, um, we've hit in historical. Um, high here on the RSI on the weekly chart. We have this crossover, cross under event in the composite index. And we, we just have this very extended move away where price to close is still sitting at a, a pretty massive distance between where between its current level and the blue line, the tank and send. You, you really never see, well, not never, but you rarely see price stay far away from the tank and send. When it does, it usually snaps back in a corrective move uh, fairly quickly. So don't don't get fooled by what's happening during the intraday activity today, because I really I really don't see it continuing to move up. Um, it could, but these current levels, the volume, the momentum, price action, they still point to prices moving lower. Uh, Litecoin, of course, had a really strong bounce today, too. On the daily chart, another inside bar. We're inside the cloud now. That's always no fun. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 cloud is, the cloud is a place I affectionately call an area where accounts go to die. Um, so I really want to wait to see what happens at the end of the day here. I want to see what happens at the close. Uh, for cryptocurrencies, that is, to get a good idea of what, what's happening as we move along. Um, I mean, we could maybe see a lot of consolidation, but otherwise, looking at the weekly chart, the levels, the length of time it's been in an uptrend, and the, the very extended levels in two oscillators, really it looks like we would just continue to see prices retrace lower, and the sooner the better, in my view. I would much prefer to have a flash crash south and then a resumption higher in the short term as opposed to a long drawn out uh, retracement. Nobody likes those. So we'll see what happens. But otherwise, that's what the markets look like for me. Thank you for watching this video. And from all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.